Hey you guys! It's been a long time since I vlogged. Um, like two whole weeks since I posted something. Oh my goodness. Um, things have been really good. Um, a little bit crazy here and there, but good. I'll just kind of go through my day-to-day -day activities for the week and you can think about how awesome and crazy I am. Um, Sunday I did this really awesome thing. I dyed my friend's hair. His name's Caesar. He's awesome. Um, he's in our ward and he really wanted to dye his hair blue. And I told him that my roommate Ellen had dyed her hair blue before. He was like, oh, will you help me then? And I was like, sure. <laughs> and um, he's, he's different and awesome. Um, I wasn't expecting him to be as prepared as he was. He brought an extra towel, he brought like all the dye and everything that we needed. We, he had some gloves, like, and like shower caps, like whatever, like he had everything he needed. It was awesome. Um, so he dyed his hair and I got blue dye all over, like all over myself. I mean, I wore appropriate clothing so I wouldn't be upset about that. But I, I definitely got like blue dye all over my feet from like washing his head in the bathtub. It was fun. It was, it was, it was a good time. Um, so those were the main events of Sunday. There was also a dinner downstairs at my friend Stacia's house. Um, we got to spend some time with some people and it was really good. Um, Monday I worked. Uh, Tuesday I had a meeting with my agency, which was really good. I was, I was nervous to go. Um, I'm always a little bit nervous to go and talk to them. I think one of the main reasons I was nervous though is because I'm thinking about signing um, a contract to have a manager. And I'm nervous about that contract for a few reasons, but um, I was nervous that it would be conflicting with the contract I have with them. And I actually had gone over the contract like with a fine tooth comb um, the previous weekend just to kind of get an idea of what the real specifics, specifics excuse me, were of having an agent. So actually after I went over the contract I felt a lot better about it, but it was still nerve-wracking for me. It's like nerve-wracking nerve to have like a professional meeting. We talked about some good things um, um, and what direction I should be going in right now. Um, let's see, let's see. Thursday? Wednesday was boring. I think I just worked on Wednesday and was like generally really tired. Um, <laughs> Thursday I had a, a voice coaching with Dan Mitchakay. Um, he's also an alumni of Boston Conservatory, and he um, has, he's just, he's really fabulous, a fabulous pianist, and he, I needed a rep coach, and so I called him and, well, emailed him, and I went into him, and he had found some great songs for me, things I'm excited, really excited to learn. Um, one song from Summer of 40, Summer of 42, it's, oh, it's beautiful, it's called Losing Track of Time kind of about um, the wife of a soldier during World, World War II and how she's waiting for him to come back and everything. And so that looks really cool. Um, also Thursday night I had my first recording session with the manager, the managing team that I'm thinking about signing with. It was interesting. I definitely have some concerns about the chemistry between the four of us and, and some things, but we were, re were recording very late into the night and it was unexpected. I wasn't expecting to be at the studio as late as I was. Um, I'm pleased with the result of what we came out with. I think we can do a lot better. Um, and we can definitely be more prepared for, for sessions. I, I don't want to get into the details. Um, anyway, it was very interesting and very fun and I'm all excited about writing again which is great. Um, but yeah, I was up till really late Thursday night and then I opened the restaurant the next day at 7.30 in the morning and I was also training somebody. I was late because I've been having problems with my phone and because um, it got a little water damage. It's working fine now, thankfully, but um, it's, my, it's also my alarm clock and so since I was like super tired and also my alarm didn't go off at all. I was late to work and I got my first write up. Oh no. Um, I, sh I should be like worried about it. I guess 
I guess I'm just not. I, it's, I've been there a long time. I, I know a lot of people have more write-ups than I do and have been here a lot shorter time. So I'm not too worried about it. Um, but yeah, that was good. I had a good time at work. I didn't leave work until 5. I stayed after and did some computer-based training. I really, really want to get promoted. So I'm just like, it doesn't help that I was late, but I'm just like really pushing to show that I'm awesome and to have a better attitude. I'm so much happier when I have a better attitude. Um, working there, you know, like I, I've been like really disappointed in that job for a while, and not because of anything. Well, there are some ways that I feel that I have been treated a little unfairly there. But regardless, like when you change your attitude about something, it makes it okay and it makes it happy and enjoyable. So. But then Friday night I came home from work and kind of had a little meltdown to my mom. It was, I think it was mostly because I was exhausted from like recording all night before and then being up all morning and training someone, just being really tired. Um, so yeah, Friday I just like stayed home, I cleaned my room, I like got life ready and then I fell asleep with conference on which is always really nice. Um, so yeah, that was good. Then Saturday, um, I got up fairly early and then I uh, went and did some yoga in Bryant Park before work and I actually got this really killer deal on some Paul Mitchell stuff that a marketing PR guy was like walking around looking for girls to give this deal to and I was like, great, um, I went ahead and got it. Um, might not have been the best idea though, I'm very poor right now. Like a real poor. Um, yeah, that was that. And then today was good. Um, went to church and thought about things. I had a meeting with the bishop and kind of told him some of the stuff that I've been struggling with lately. And it was good. It was really. It was a good. It was a good week. It was a good week. I enjoyed it. Um, I was hoping to go on a date Saturday night, but my date had to reschedule. Um, because he had an opportunity to go to Palmyra, which is awesome. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think what else to tell you. Life is generally pretty good. I'm just trying to keep going and make life happen and feel the spirit and, and uh, and do my art and live in the city. So, anyway, um, I love you all so much and thanks for watching and listening. And if you have any suggestions on ways that I can live my life more efficiently or fully, I would love to hear them. And, yeah. That's it. Have a good day. Bye.